Hello and welcome to another edition of the Microsoft Perview Quick Start series. Today I would like to do a short recap of what happened in the year 2022 with Microsoft Perview the Data Governance. Let's start with the source of the information. Well, it's the uh, Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity blog. So I've taken all those blog entries over there and I've provided and summarized one blog post with all the links to the announcements that have been made. January started slowly with uh, the addition of the support for SAP HANA. So another source has been added to Azure Perfu. Remember, the beginning of 2022, Microsoft Perfu was still named Azure Perfu. In February, there were some improvements to data policies. So how to set data access policies for storage accounts, blob storage and data lake storage. In March, there were many things that have been announced. The certification of data assets in your data catalog has been introduced and Perfu Studio is available or got available uh, in multiple languages. So 18 languages are now supported. The support for SAP Business Warehouse to scan the metadata, to scan the structure and get the data and metadata out of uh, SAP Business Warehouse has been added. And the, the big part of the Azure Perfue workflows have been introduced and put into public preview for the approval workflows of business glossaries and self-service data access workflows. And the Azure Integration Runtime supports more sources. So uh, additional sources like Snowflake and so on had been added to the uh, Azure Integration Runtime. In April, the Business Glossary Search and, uh, well, to be more specific, the search within the Perfu Data Catalog now returns the Business Glossary entries too. So that have been added. And it looked like a, a Nice month, April 2022, uh, but then Microsoft, the Perfu team, uh, well, decided to introduce and not only rename, but to integrate many things into Microsoft Perfu. So we switch from the Azure Perfu, the data governance suite, into the Microsoft Perfu, where one of the multiple tools that have been integrated is the formerly known uh, Azure Perfu data catalog. So with the beginning of April uh, 2022, well, it's not Azure Perfu anymore, it's Microsoft Perfu. In May, there was the public preview for data policies for SQL DevOps. And there was an announcement and a typo in my slides, uh, Data Estate Insights will be available beginning of July. Maybe you remember the beginning of July when Data Estates Insights uh, got available. Uh, well, there were some interesting uh, things happening because data estate insights are not free. They cost you money and there were some hip, uh, hiccups uh, during the initial startup and introduction of the data estate insights. Data sharing was introduced and a public preview for managed attributes plus a rich text editor in the Perfu data catalog. Summer was quite silent in the uh, Microsoft Perfu field. In October, there were some rumors and a blog post about the thing called business model, meta model. And uh, it wasn't clear how it will be introduced and integrated in the Microsoft Perfu field in October. And uh, we got manual data lineage too. So just add a new lineage reference between two entities two assets in your data catalog and put in your own lineage whenever a source doesn't support it automatically. For the uh, Microsoft Perfume workflows, there was the, a new connector added, the HTTP connector. With uh, that connector, you are able to talk to systems outside of your Perfume environment and maybe send some messages to uh, other systems. In November, Data policies, the SQL DevOps policies went into GA and there was the public preview of the meta model. 
So we got more information how the meta model uh, works, how it fits into the data catalog, and we got some uh, options to try it out in our own environments. December, well, to finish the year, the uh, support for multiple business glossaries in the Perfu data catalog was introduced and you are now able to connect your own event hub for listening to events that uh, Azure Perfu scans, do send and you can uh, react on those. And there were some performance improvements for the data estate insights. So uh, better uh, rendering, better generation of the data and saves you some money. To sum it up, what happened in the Microsoft Perfu field in 2022? Well, a lot happened. And I'm really looking forward to 2023 to get a more longer list of new features added to the Perfu environment. Stay happy, treat your data well, and see you next time.